Now, last time we, uh, when I did the talk, we talked about the idea of the presence. And obviously, the idea of the presence have different aspects. Mm. Sometimes we say work on the body energy structure. Sometimes we say work on the the boundary of the body or uh, our being as a living being. And different uh, concepts of words we use emphasizes different aspects of the same idea that uh, we want to be well centered and to have our energy well embodied within our physical body and our physical body is in a good um, good uh, state that all the boundaries are clearly defined and are best defined Say if we have a cut in our skin, if we bathe in muddy water, we're most likely to get infected. But if we, our skin are intact, and we bathe in very dirty water, and we don't necessarily get infected. If our teeth, say all the emeralds are intact, and our teeth don't get eroded. But if the emeralds begin to go, and we easily get affected by the things we eat and the, the teeth get eroded and uh, yeah, we have trouble with it. So the idea of the boundary is like define our presence where we are and especially on a physical level. So for that idea, we work on the skin a lot, especially the back skin of the body, the external part of the body's skin. The skin makes the skin firm and clear. That's a very effective way to keep our body keeping its boundary, keeping its structure. And uh, it's, it's like a defense mechanism. Now, the idea of the structure is uh, if we don't, uh, don't position the body properly, we're more likely to lose energy and uh, break our boundaries. So instead of sitting in a rather balanced way, accommodating way, and we sit like this, and obviously it's the, the boundary of the body is not as clear, and it's kind of break the struck, yeah, break the alignment or just make make the uh, presence a little bit out of the place and the skin is not smooth therefore the boundary is not clear so the um, we will be in a more vulnerable state so the, the idea about the structure is we want to want the yin uh, front bit of the body to be you know, uh, soft, empty. Soft is to kind of realize the you know, empty, insubstantial nature, quality of it. The, all the inner front part. We want to feel that is is attracted by the back part, accommodated at the back and external part of the body, which form like a shell or um, wall, something we can retreat into, something that is can accommodate our energy. So this kind of structure is a basic of the balance of yin and yang, you know, um, body system. And if we are aware of like a, the different qualities of the yin and yang aspect of the body, our energy and the physical body would be also 
together to the best degree. So if I see it in not balanced, indiscriminated in the sense of it's a mixture, front and back is a mixture. The, the, the back part, the physical and more solid aspect of the body not holding the boundary, not holding the structure. The inner part of the body is a bit scorched and protruding and not soft enough. We also can't accommodate our energy well enough. So our energy is also dispersed and uh, a bit all over the place, uh, depending on the degree, which is actually a quite a common theme uh, with our Qigong perception in our casual state. Our energy is a bit out of the place, it's scattered. And we are just not quite in place. Think how, how many meters we end up with when we trip on the street, when we take a walk, when we fall. We don't fall right on Maria. So that means we are, our energy is much ahead of us before our body reaches there. So a lot of that going on in our daily positioning and movement. So we, the idea of the presence is, is that we want to make sure if our body is here, our whole being is here. Body, mind, energy is together. Our body really body our energy and the containment that it should have. Then on this basis also, the idea of the structure and also presence together and boundary all together when I think about it, also means that when we are in a good state of presence, well structured and with our boundaries clear, clearly defined. And there are also like different layer, layers of boundaries and different layers of structures. We have a full presence, not only the physical body, but the body and energy and different layers of the energy. So we have our body clearly defined by the skin, by the surface of the body. Then we have the immediate aura of the body, placed all around the body as a layer of light. If that is intact and uh, really smooth, it's like another layer of protect, protection. And it's another frontier of boundary. And the light would emit radiate. So before things reach our body, it's already been walled off if it's not good to the body. So these kind of ideas, and we can reflect by when we do different kinds of body movements. So we move the arms, say a little bit like this, you can assume it build up certain energy tracks around here, around the body, a bit close, or if it move like, more like this, it's build up more energy light circles around the body and the like, so we can feel like we can establish, build up a multiple layered structure with our body and energy, with our presence. Then we can deeply retreat to the inner world of our own being. Now, for these ideas, obviously, a lot of uh, different exercises, like the fundamental Qigong exercise, the concise version of the fundamental Qigong exercise, as I showed last time with the talk together I did. And 
the same time, not uh, video together. And uh, the same collection of some of the advanced carbon forms movements, they all contribute to this. Uh, now, with the time left now, um, to go along with the exercise we have done with working on the hands and activate the chi between the hands. And then we can go into more symbolic uh, gestures that enable us to make a higher connection or as we experienced a bit uh, earlier that by the time we can't touch the hands, the hands will be circled. So we keep on circling, keep on circling, keep on circling again. They come out a lot of patterns and these patterns will build up a multiple layered defense around our body, multiple layered light and energy system around our whole being. Now we can't do everything every the time we left our in one session. So I will just show one pattern of it, which is rather comprehensive. Usually it's what we end up, which would embody what leads to it. It embodies more. Now I show it with a close up, then I do it again with, a, uh, with a, some distance so you can see by the whole body. Mm. So, the hands move like this, so one part like this. So, hands end up in the middle, end up in the middle, end up in the middle, end up in the middle. In the middle. And if both hands are mo moving, one would give way to the other one. So, by the, by the time this one comes in, the other one gives way. So end up like this. Then if we do a lot of this, it's end up like this. But a little more engaging. And the combination become hmm. yeah that's to show the basic idea and the pattern. Don't worry, we haven't quite got it. And uh, so when we uh, do it later, we'll, I will slow down the pace and we'll gradually get into it. Okay. Again, you could stand up or sit in a resolute or a carpet if the uh, environment allows. We can start by coming up with the hands, hand it over, and interacting. You want the hands to end up in the middle, end up in the middle. Okay. 
without the build up, we might feel a little bit empty to start with, but not by the way. Continue to move with it, it will build up.
So the last thing. Pace can change a little bit sometimes. So this uh, movement is, is quite to the upfront, so like the uh, frontier of an energy layer around the body. And then mm, at the end, we in this part of the meditation is to give the most overall sense of uh, good presence, good presence, or at least a better presence. And meditation is also dedicated to those who unfortunately lost their lives in this crisis, and to the people who lost their beloved ones and those who are still fighting for their lives. 